Good morning. Tired? Really tired. God damn. When did you fall asleep? Like two? Something like that, two, three. It's 12.36, we will do a little bit of a game plan for Navi, which we face later today. We did some warm up now and we're gonna warm up a little bit later as well, but yeah, pretty chill day, we don't have any scrim because we have earlier game. Yeah, let's, uh, let's, see. let's see how we do against Navi. Is it better to Yeah. I actually... I, I like slept good. Uh, I am putting uh, the old jersey because no, when no, I um, the, the had the, the new team. jersey, we lost all the games. Yeah, and yeah. with the old jersey, we won this all the games. So today, I'm going on stage with the old jersey. And that means uh, I, I'm that we're going to win Natus Vincere. New crosshair, new meat. Really small crosshair. Yeah. Only for popping heads, you know. Headshot machine today? Yes. It's raining. So we do game plan first and then we walk. If it's raining, then we Rain has never... Uh, but it, you don't want to walk because it's raining? Fine by beam, but I mean, rain is, has never killed a man before. Different color on the jersey? What's happening there? You have washed it with white clothes, 100%. Yeah, yeah. You have... You white have socks on the, Yeah, yeah, this is white clothes. <laughs> <laughs> this is you. Like, normally the dish gets fucked because yeah. you wash it too many times. This one is brand new. You have washed this with white clothes. I don't know, like, do I have some new pair of slippers or something? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the snack room of ESR. Here you can see like a wide selection of uh, cookies. Apparently someone, someone has taken a bite of this one and put it back. It's a little bit fucked up. But Was it good? Looks kind of dry. Our legs. <laughs> <laughs> You yeah, move like this, so gentle. Uh, Preparing for uh, the game against Navi today. Leaving uh, in half an hour. Oh. Right. Going through the game plan. Getting ready. You see? He's hurting me. Like always, when I come first time, I take one of these because they are so kind. Mmm. Can't hear. Can't hear. I can hear this. Good. Very good, my friend. Can I eat now? Yes. I'm playing a lot. <laughs> <laughs> we won here. We won here. Did we not play here? We lost. No, all the way down. All the way down. This is the winning win. This is the winning win. We won here. Yes, we won. We are yes. In this boot, we're insane. And not sweating. That's always. Two weeks. That is the new thing in saying it. I have temperature. <laughs> I have temperature. <laughs> I have temperature. <laughs> what is me? Everyone in this team, it's calm. Relax. First, start C side, Anubis second, start C side, Mirage third, and knife wound. I can't troll, I can't help it. Like, I, I, I don't know how to be fucking, you know, that serious 
looking coach in front of a camera. <laughs> like I'm, I'm, I just want to stroll all the time. Sometimes feel like <laughs> there is a serious face if you ask me. It looked like that you were trying to look sexy or something. I don't know. Yeah, but that's what you're trying to do. No, no, I'm natural sexy, huh? Good yeah. Okay. Starting siege engine. Yeah. Right. The first map that we uh, started to play and uh, got a little bit of a lesson on, and ever since it's been pretty okay, no? Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Boys, let's be in their fucking face. Mm -hmm. Right. Like uh, I know that we're talking about uh, all the time that we're talking about identity and finding ourselves, and we want to get one step closer to where we want to go, etc. Um, but at the same time, like. We also are the best when we're at having our backs against the wall. Like, and even though that we are taking a major step towards where we want to be, I also also want to stay in the tournament. No, like we are, everybody does. Yes. So let's fucking bring the fire. Let's fucking go, boys. Good guy. I'm never doing that. Let's do it. Let's do it. One, two, three. Hey, come the boys. The only hope. It's Jacob, the first victim. Can he run out now? Should get overwhelmed. And oh, wow, still manages to adjust nicely. As if only Steve go the last. Job. A whole lot more difficult, but again, it's Jacob the best. Of Lock it down, as I'm saying, then just don't play heavy middle. Having a hard time here, Imer does not post himself one. It could very well have been pressure. Wonderful forward, Steeko comfortable. And there's Steeko, got the B side, JL. Nice find, gets Jacob as well on the jiggle. There's no. I think he's playing side and uh, time. They're going through. Yeah, pre aimed by Steeko. The anchor delivers for Apex, and it's an absolute disaster for the boys of Na'Vi. Yeah. They oh, but he hasn't found anything. It looks good for Na'Vi. And Na'Vi, they will take the first of the series. 13 to 11. They had both pistols, Chad. Apex, some good gun rounds, but Na'Vi. They managed to convert. Yeah, this is with uh, some of the heavy hitters on Navi not getting out of first gear. Missed utility. We still got the skin. We could have had it, so. We didn't play. Have had it. I played better than that. No, we did not play. We did not play bad. Like, and we lose both pistols. I played so bad. No, we won't. If I played better, we won't. It's okay. It's not only you. You got two maps left to uh, make it back, right? Take your case. Right? Then, then use that as motivation to fucking full send it like the last two, okay? You're going to fucking destroy them, right? Yeah. Gucci boys. Like two lost pistols and the way that we're playing, I feel like it's okay. Yeah. And we lost it's the okay first battle of the city yeah. in 5v4, like, because we weren't, weren't proactive. Exactly. I think it's fine. Exactly. Like we're doing some of the, we're doing some of the, like we're not doing any major mistakes right now. And that's good to see. Remind each other that we need to stay proactive in these kind of rounds, right? Just do the same thing as what you're doing during this game. You're talking about what needs to be done. Like, I didn't take any timeouts this, uh, un until the last round because you're constantly talking and proactive and you're using uh, team say about what needs to change. You're talking all, all the time about how we need to play, what kind of plays that, we need to be, uh, that needs to be done, etc. right? So keep doing these things, yeah. right? Because it works, yeah, yeah. it works. Like some of the teams that we're playing up against right now because of like in the way that we're growing, like we, we will get there. And you're good enough to fucking beat these hounds, right? Yeah. Fuck if you had a bad game. Like we're gonna use that as fucking fuel to destroy them now, right? Let's fucking go boys. Energy is good right now. Let's mm. keep it going. Let's do it. Very potent B set up here. See that they're ready. Wonderful. Leads to track. Satanito the first. Sat down. Oh, and Jacob doubles up. Big gets nothing done with the Julies. Uncomfortable for him, eh? Very, very uncomfortable. Pop shots. Steeko puts the Jewelberettas to good use. Yeah, hang on. JL, he did just get brave. It does result in one, but should be no problem. Should be no problem. JL's managed to go from around the Rosie over. <laughs> That's the way. Does a whole lot of damage. This is all onto their spread right now. Imet, Imet trying to defend the B site. 10 seconds, he's gonna get a chance. Oh, no! He hits it! Looks like he's considering the clear. Plan of the dark, it's plan of the dark. Just Deco just completely called the blast. Just right. hiding Never. in plain sight, calls the blast. Deco far too smart. He hears that sound, and it's an eight round for Apex. Oh. St. George Vickens, it's... Oh. No! Jacob! He's gonna keep knocking Jacob there. Steeko's on A. If they can... 
find this player on B. JL's taken one, but it's Satanito. They know where you are now. Not a comfortable duel. Still adjusted to wonderful. Another is spectacular. Seems like Apex. They won 11, and they'll take it by four. He's hearing this. Has to hit that one. High pressure scenario for Nork. Make a decision now, Navi. 30 seconds. Coming his way. Nork turns the flash. Nails it. Whips out the D. Oh. It's beautiful from Nork. Nork has done enough. Plays his game well. Oh. Survives. And Apex takes oh. us the distance. Mirage oh. recorded in this battle for survival in the Kavita oh. group stage. Oh, they do it again. This team oh, never seems to give. Jesus, the timing is fixed. That's a pretty good fucking time to pick the CT side, no? Mm -hmm. yep. I think we just figured out how we want to play this map on CT side. It is insanity the way that we are not only communicating across the side, but the pro productivity level that we're showing. You are constantly finding the gaps on that map. It's fucking beautiful to watch. Like, and when it becomes a little bit too stall, when we stall a little bit too much, there's comments like when you say like, guys, come on, like we need to, we need to stay stay active. We need to just keep looking for something. Then we keep looking for something, we find the gap, we know where they're going, and it's getting cold. And then we're just all of a sudden free on the side. We're free on the side fucking all the time before they even get to execute, right? It's beautiful. Not so much about the CT side, the way that we're going to play it. I just like, when we go into a third map like this, I usually don't want to overthink it. I just want us to play fucking our game in their face, proactive like always. There's a single thing here from Elliot that they're rarely playing inside of B apps or 50% of the time. I feel like that we can use uh, sometimes where if you peek in deep B apps and we don't see anything, you should kind of push it. It's a bit, he always goes under. Yes, um, you, should, you should kind of, you should try, try and see if you can find that yeah, gap okay. sometimes, Martin. Sure, let's do it. Um, otherwise, listen. Listen, remember what we spoke about when it comes to this spread out CS, right? What I want you to do is that when we take this mid control, make sure that you add a flash for ladder. Justinas is in there all the fucking time. So you need to add the flash for ladder. But you could own him. He usually plays on top of the railing in there. So when you pre aim, aim up. Put it. Let's go, boy. See how this pistol goes. We are ready to rumble. Yeah, bait. Oh, wonderful. Incredibly over. Under check positions. Tatsunito taking him down. All the side should be there. Bit tries to contest from CT. Tatsunito went in. Look at those fights. And Stiko from the underpass. Stiko pokes his head out of panic. He fight. The head spit. Great shot from Stiko. Now, ooh, JL. Oh, playing for that elevation. JL. The North. We know what he's capable of in the clutch. Tends to come alive under pressure. He can only fire one bullet at a time. There it is, gets his first and does isolate, yeah, gets away, repositions, and he's hit another. The Nork clutch manifesting before our very eyes. He gets all three. The sweep does it again. Every game. Really no hope for Apex here. And down he goes. Partial investment, and then there needs to be some heroics. Somebody stepping up with the clutch. We tend to Apex are three deaths away from elimination. Doesn't find the kill. The lethality was needed. Alexi's found Stiko, and it seems Na'Vi have done enough. It's just Nork in the clutch. And he's gone. Ah! Bit secures it. Na'Vi will fight another day. Apex packing their suitcases. They put up one <coughs> hell of a fight. Breaking the Anubis streak of Na'Vi. What a match. Uh, unfortunately, you didn't come out the winner. Uh, I'd love to know where you think in the end it went wrong. I mean, if you look at the city side throughout the whole BO3, it's, that's where we struggle. Like, we also knew that before coming into the tournament. Our CT sides are kind of weak, so yeah, we couldn't do it in the city side. Mm -hmm. uh, when you look at your whole tournament, though, I think there were uh, a lot of people that were very surprised that the results that you did get and you were also open saying we're all going for that RMR or going for that major as well. So how valuable has this then been for you also in terms of your IGL route? I mean this uh, tournament has been very important for us. Like uh, we come and we open uh, the tournament with a CO13 against um, Spirit. So it was important for us to come here, check the things we have been practicing at home and uh, see what we need to adapt. Definitely. Uh, look forward to hopefully seeing you at the future.
felt like it was like five individuals. And I feel like that the way that, that we have been working during this event has, everyone is contributing. There's no one who's just meeting up to, to just play or to be trained. Like people are meeting up to train and they have, they have an opinion. And they have an opinion before that we do something, which is the most important thing. It's not like those hindsight and, uh, opinions where you come after the game and saying, I felt like this was uh, fucked up, I hate the way that we play this, or somebody told me to play that, so I did it. Like, if we continue this, the, down this path, like, we're gonna be so fucking strong. I'm honestly satisfied with how we came back after Spirit. I thought after Spirit it was GG. Like, I thought zero two in the bag and just fucking full send it home. But if you think about the games, beat Furia, beat Big. Uh, on a better day, we beat Complexity. Could have two zero now. Could have won Ancient. I think Mirage, yes, we fucked up the Eco. I think they were strong on Tissa. If you fix a little bit of the 5 a force and all this stuff, we win versus Navi. Hey everyone, good evening. So unfortunately, we lost um, against Navi. It was a close game, but it is what it is. We're out and it was good experience, but we were just, they were just a little bit better. Uh, anyway, vlogs are coming back for the RMR, but uh, until then, just you know, keep supporting us and that's it. It was a tough day, but it is what the Scout Strike happened. So, yeah, thank you. Bye bye.